We're going to use induction to show that if A is a finite set with n elements, then the cardinality of its power set is 2 to the n. As usual, with a proof by induction, we're going to begin by letting the reader know how we plan to proceed. So we proceed by induction on n. The smallest possible n for which this statement makes sense, maybe I'll just say up here for n greater than or equal to zero. Um, the small, so we'll start with n equals zero. Let n equal to zero. Then the only um, set with zero elements is the empty set. And um, the power set of the empty set is just the set that contains the empty set. So we see that the power set of the empty set has size cardinality 1 and 2 to the 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, the base case holds. For the induction step, we need to show that if for some n greater than or equal to zero, um, any set A with cardinality equal to n has power set of size 2 to the n, then for any set B with cardinality n plus 1, um, the power set of B has 2 to the n plus 1 elements. Note that here, the part of this statement that comes after the if and before the comma is our induction hypothesis. It's what we get to assume in our proof. The part that per comes for back, uh, the part that comes after the comma is our conclusion. And this is what we're trying to prove. So let's start um, by considering a set of the form with n plus 1 elements. So let B be a set with size n plus 1. Since it has size n plus 1, it's not empty. So there exists an element b in b. Um, and what we want to do now is let a equal the set b take away that element b. Then the set A has cardinality n, and by our induction hypothesis, its power set has size 2 to the n. Now let's consider the power set of B. Um, if x is an element of the power set of B, there are two cases. 
that actually don't overlap. In the first case, the element of B is not in X. And in the second case, B is in X. In the first case, if B is not in X, this implies that actually X is a subset of A, which implies that X is an element of the power set of A. And therefore, if I look at the set of um, all X that are subsets of B that do not contain X, this is exactly the same as the set of all subsets of A. And in particular then, the cardinalities of these two sets are the same and equal to size two to the n by our induction hypothesis. Now, in our other case, if B is in X, then there is a set um, Y that I'm gonna to define to be X, take away the element B, um, is actually contained. Now that's a subset of A. And you know what, maybe I'll write this a little differently. I think what I wanna do instead is just say that if B is an X, then the set X take away B is a subset of A. Therefore, if I look at the set of all X in the power set of B, such that B is an X, what I can see is that this is actually exactly the same as the set of all sets Y union little b, where Y is an element of the power set of A. In other words, each subset of capital B that contains little b is obtained by adding B to a subset of A. Since these two sets are equal, their cardinalities are equal, but I see really the cardinality of the second set. There's one element of it for every element in the power set of A, so it has cardinality two to the n. Therefore, the cardinality of the power set of B is equal to the sum of these two cardinalities because there are, there's no overlap between the two cases. Therefore, what we see is that the cardinality of B has size two to the n plus one as we claimed. And then we can say by induction, now, for all n greater than or equal to zero, if A has size n, then its power set has cardinality 2 to the n.